Winnipeg Centre NDP MP Leah Gazan was part of meetings held this weekend with the Winnipeg Police, the City, First Nations leadership and family members about continuing the search for victims. Leah joins us now. Leah, thanks for uh, taking time for us. Uh, you were at some meetings on the weekend with police and the city. Uh, can you tell us uh, how those went, what was said? Well, you know, the, the meeting, uh, you know, was not just uh, with uh, representatives of the city, the mayor, but also families. And I think it's important for uh, elected officials uh, and uh, other members uh, to listen to families and follow up with action. We need to start doing more than listen. We need immediate action to deal with this ongoing genocide. While uh, these meetings were going on, I guess, uh, there were also actions taking place at uh, two landfills uh, here uh, near the city, um, blocking people from getting in. Uh, you know, are, are we any closer? The, the, the one landfill, they've been paused, uh, work out there. Are we any closer, do you think, to seeing a search happen? Well, I think what, what is very clear to me is that there's a complete breakdown in trust uh, between many Indigenous people, certainly many families of MMIW G2S uh, and uh, the police. And, uh, you know, I think at this point, uh, at, at the federal level, I'm certainly not opposed to, you know, calling on the federal government to call on the UN Special Rapporteur for Indigenous Peoples to come down and uh, provide whatever oversight they can. Uh, certainly, uh, one of the mandates of the Special Rapporteur is to provide um, uh, oversight or to address specific cases of violations against the rights of Indigenous Peoples. Certainly, uh, the crisis of murdered and missing Indigenous women and girls has been likened to uh, a genocide by the current Prime Minister. And I think, you know, at, at the severity of this, uh, of the cases, uh, requires that kind of oversight, especially when there's such a breakdown in trust. Do you think the federal government could be doing more to help push along uh, this search? Well, certainly I've called on all levels of government uh, to support the search. The federal government uh, is is not uh, innocent in this. Let's not forget the National Inquiry. It's been a few years since it came out. 231 calls for justice. Where is that at? You mm -hmm. know, where's the funding at? Certainly not in the 2022 budget uh, that provided zero funding allocation to address the issue of murdered and missing Indigenous women and girls. This is a crisis. This is a human rights, life and death crisis that's getting attention globally. And the federal government needs to immediately act to, uh, ad to uh, address what's going on, including providing whatever support necessary immediately to perform searches, not just in Winnipeg, but across the country. Leah, what should be taking place right now? Well, I mean, the fact that we're having this, the, this discussion to begin with, the fact that uh, the genocide against Indigenous women and girls in Two-Spirit has been so normalized that families are begging to have landfills shut down so that garbage isn't placed uh, on the remains of their loved ones. I can't, I can't think of anything more violent or anything that reeks of a normalization of genocide. You know, we need to first accept this normalization and act to change it. You know, families deserve closure and we in elected positions need to do whatever needs to be done to ensure families and our communities have closure. Leah, we'll have to leave it there, but uh, again, appreciate you taking some time and for all the work you're doing here on this. Thank you. Take care. Thanks for having me.